purpose of this series of instructional videos is to introduce Multilock's range of access control solutions. We intend to provide as much practical knowledge and techniques as possible to allow successful installation and maintenance at all stages of the product's life. To ensure that you order the correct type of Smart Air handle set, you will need to know some basic information about the door the unit will be installed upon and also the door hardware. These are the recommended tools required to fit a Smart Air handle set onto a new or existing door. A comprehensive list is available upon request. It is recommended that you wear appropriate safety equipment at all times during the installation process, especially when using power tools. Here are the components that are required to complete the successful installation of a Smart Air handle set on a timber door. To install your Smart Air unit, you must remove the existing handle furniture and separate escutcheon if fitted. You'll also need to remove the lock case from the door, as you will be required to use power tools. As you can see, there are already existing holes present which will need to be taken into consideration during the installation process. Align the provided Smart Air template with the existing fixings on the door and mark the drilling points with a braddle. Repeat this on the reverse side. You will now need to drill the fixing holes for the Smart Air unit. In order to prevent the wood from splitting, we recommend you drill the door from both sides using the fixing points marked. Particular care will have to be made when drilling the hole for the follower, as you'll have to enlarge an existing hole. Before installing the handle set, you need to ensure that the handing is correct for the door. The external unit is supplied with the spindle in a neutral position and can be changed to either handing. To change the handing on a unit, simply depress the recessed button on the rear of the external cover, which will enable you to turn the handle. After the lock case has been reinstalled, attach the correct size spindle to the rear of the internal handle set, using the fixings provided, and ensure that the spindle is in the up position as marked. Thread the reader cable from the external side through the door and align against the door. Thread the cable through the top gap in the internal handle set. Insert the spindle into the lock case follower and align the two halves. Secure the two halves together using three screws provided, being careful not to over tighten. Once the unit is secure, the two halves can be connected by inserting the white connector. It is important that this is done before the batteries are correctly inserted, otherwise the unit will be in high usage mode and will experience excessive battery consumption. At this stage, it is recommended that you reset the unit. To do so, use a screwdriver or similar tool to cross the two brass coloured pins to the left located under the battery compartment until you hear a buzzing sound. Attach the internal cover plate with the screws provided and install both handles with their respective nylon spacer. Then secure in place with the provided grub screws. At this stage, install your required cylinder. To test the unit, Press the white construction card from the box to the reader and check that the Smart Air unit operates the latch. The construction card is the same for all Smart Air units and can be used during construction to allow access for all users until the units are programmed. You have now successfully installed a Smart Air unit. Smart Air Standalone is specifically designed for use on smaller systems where access needs to be managed but audit trails and regular changes are not required. The principle is based around a shadow card system whereby two credentials, cards, tags or fobs, are created for each user. The first credential is allocated to the user, user fob, and the second shadow card is retained in case the user card needs to be deleted from the system. 
To initiate and program a system, you will need a shadow management card and have sufficient credentials required by each user, with two per user. For example, for 20 users, you'll require 40 credentials. To program a user, present the shadow management card to the reader once. The red and green lights will flash simultaneously. Then present the user card or FOB, followed by the shadow card, and repeat this process for all the required users. To exit programming mode, either leave the unit for 10 seconds or present the management card again. To delete a user, present the management card to the reader, followed by the user card or FOB, or the appropriate shadow card to complete the deletion. To delete every user from the unit and reset it to a default condition, present the management card to the reader three times in succession. It is possible to give permission to specific users to leave a door in an unlocked position or passage mode. To do this, present the shadow management card to the reader twice, followed by the shadow card and then the user's fob. To engage passage mode, the user will have to present their credential to the reader twice. To disengage, the procedure should be repeated. When the batteries on a smart air unit require changing, the reader will display a rapid flashing of the green and red lights in sequence. To replace the batteries, you will need access to the inside of the unit. Remove the handle, followed by the internal cover plate, to gain access to the batteries ensuring you have new batteries close at hand. Remove the old batteries and insert the new ones according to the polarities indicated. Please be aware that if the batteries are removed from the unit completely for over 60 seconds, the unit will reset and need to be completely reprogrammed. In the event the batteries are allowed to become completely discharged, the unit will fail to operate. To gain access to the inside escutcheon to replace the batteries, you will need to use the emergency opening unit. Insert the connector into the hole in the centre of the reader and present a valid credential whilst holding the unit in place. This will allow you to operate the handle and gain access to the rear of the unit. To ensure you order the correct type of smart air handle set, you will need to know some basic information about the door the unit will be installed upon and also the door hardware. Smart Air units can be supplied with or without a cylinder option. If Smart Air is to be installed on a door requiring cylinder override, we will need to know the centres of the lock case. The most popular option is 72mm, however others are available. Please note that the external handle set has a thickness of 10mm and the internal handle set has a thickness of 20mm. These dimensions need to be considered when specifying your cylinder length. Smart Air units are all supplied with a spindle as standard, suitable for a door of 44 to 55 mm thickness. However, other size options are available. Make sure you correctly measure the door thickness and the position of the lock case. For this, please provide both measurements for the centre of the forend to the edge of the door.